Good evening, Broadway family. Today is the second evening in Advent, and we are celebrating hope. I want to invite you to gather around your Advent wreath as we join together in a time of reflection, devotion, scripture, and prayer. Tonight's scripture reading comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Hope, living in a minor key. This holy hymn contrasts and clashes with its other Christmas carol siblings. Like hope, this song fits poorly and beautifully in our world. A hopeful longing is something that Israel knew well. The Old Testament is an extended story of Hebrew captivity, bookended between their enslavements in Egypt and Babylon. The New Testament continues to narrate this story as the Gospels move from the cries from a manger to the cries from a cross. Why write Christmas hymns in minor keys? Is it possible to sing hopeful laments? Our lives and songs today reflect the terrible tensions of that sacred first Christmas season, a child born far from home, far from modern comforts, and far from safety. We sing these songs as a reminder that life is not yet where it should be, that we are not alone, and that the kingdom, justice, is not yet come. The truest sense of the Christmas season acknowledges that we live our lives in minor keys and that these discordant tones tumble together to form a powerful melody. This song lingers long after it is sung and it reminds us that hope is ever on the move. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to thee, O Israel, written by John S. Vassar.
as we prepare to light the candle of hope. Um, get your lighters ready, get your, here we go, we light the candle of hope. And now I want to invite you to pray with me as we focus on the hope that comes with the very presence of God through Jesus. Pray with me. Jesus, stay with me for evening is at hand and the day is done. Come alongside me as I dream about tomorrow. Open my eyes, heart, and mind to see what you will show me. Open my ears to hear your whispers of wisdom and love. As I think about the brokenness in me and around me and in our world today, may I feel your call to wholeness. May I feel your call to hope. Let the things I have seen today and the people I have met today and the places I have been today fuel transformation and change. May I know your love is for me so deep that it overflows and spills out into my tomorrow. When I awaken, awake hope in me. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen.